The rough and tumble world of graffiti meets the delicate struggle tied to breast cancer. Tonight, some local artists paint a touching picture for a survivor. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau with more on painting for a purpose on this week's Street Story. You might be riding your bike too fast to see it, but there's an important reason to stop on a local bike trail. I like what you're doing here, buddy. Game on. I might have some yellow in the car. The big man in the middle is Paul Morse. It's been a war. It's been a fight. She's went through some uh, rough times. His team of artists from across the area want anyone who rides through the South County Bike Trail underpass to understand the battle. Rebecca is a smiling example of what it takes to fight back. Uh, this is a really important year for me. I just hit my five-year mark. This is like the best year of my life. We've had some hard times, but uh, through it all, she kept smiling. To have it celebrated with a kickoff with something like this is fabulous. She kept fighting, and she never, ever gave up. And She's my hero. Morse will tell you, even if you don't know anyone ravaged by the disease, statistics indicate you will. It's going to affect each and every one of us at some point, it's, whether it's your sister, your aunt, your cousin, somebody you know is going is to come down with this disease, and it's important to, to, to come up with a cure. It's in my family. Um, my grandmother had it this year. Uh, she's, she's still dealing with it. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca made it to remission. Her best friend, Lori Brown, diagnosed two weeks after her, lost the fight. For breast cancer survivors and fighters and people we've lost because of the disease, it's, it's just an important um, topic that lives close and dear to our hearts. According to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, 2015 was expected to bring more than 230,000 more cases of breast cancer in the U.S. Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.